up squad it's your girl Shade, and i'm back with another video as you can see based on the title this week is educational so i will be enlightening you guys about the herpes simplex virus abbreviated as hsv now before i begin i see that we have some new squad members welcome 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 don't forget to click the notification bell after you have subscribed so that you guys won't miss any more videos, all right? And you can click the playlist right here so you guys can catch up, all right? We're not going too far. We're not going too far. School, school just stopped basically. Four months now, right? So let's begin. Herpes simplex virus, abbreviated as HSV. Now, guys, why is this topic important? Everybody know about herpes. Everybody know about herpes. Everybody know about herpes. But do you? <laughs> Alright, so I was having a discussion with my friends. And I was saying to them, Hey, when you ever get night fever, you know, as a child growing up, like we have pink eye, chicken pox, a wingworm, you ever get, well, we, we say wingworm, but it's actually a ringworm. <laughs> have you ever gotten night fever? Comment down below if you have ever gotten night fever and be honest. Alright. Enough of them say yes. Majority of them say yes. Nine out of ten. Of course. Yeah, I remember. Then I say, oh, so you know, say so you have herpes. What? Me have herpes? You must have mine. I don't have no herpes. I only think I have herpes. <laughs> Alright, so you kind of see where I'm going, guys. So, let us begin. So, that's just a little backstory as you can set the tone, you know, the precedence for where we are going. So, the herpes simplex virus, HSV, it has two types. Well, these are four. It has two types, guys. You have HSV1 and you have HSV2. Now, majority of us know about HSV2 because that is the STD that is transmitted sexually. No, that's not the herpes I have. And chances are that's not the herpes you have. The herpes that you are more prone to have is HSV1. Type 1 HSV is transmitted Usually when you're a baby going to your adolescent age, this is when you are most likely to get this virus. Now, how do you get it? You remember when you're a baby and people come to look for you? Oh, babe, especially when you are a cute baby like me. Everybody want to kiss you up. Baby cutie. No, that's when you would have gotten the virus, guys. So, HSV type 1, it is passed on, not sexually, but coming in contact with someone who has the virus. So, they would have had it, and then they kiss you, and then you have it. You can, even if they don't kiss you, if you touch them face, if you touch somewhere that is experiencing the blister, you can contract it. Alright? That was when you were a child. So, you're thinking... That was when I was a little child. You know, that pass out of my system. No. HSV, herpes simplex virus, it stays in your body forever. To, all right, this is very common, guys. More common than you would expect. To show you how common this is, the statistics for the U.S. is that 50 to 80% of adults are living with HSV type 1. You see that, guys? 50 to 80 percent that is more than half the population living with herpes simplex virus type 1 always remember guys there are two types of hsv type 1 and type 2 in this video because everybody know about type 2 already i will be focusing on type 1 because that is the one i think that is less known to the public so that is the one i'm zooming in on so squad members this virus is passed on by skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone who carries the virus. So this is totally different from herpes simplex virus type 2. 
the STD. This one, you just need a little skin to skin contact. And as I said, most people get this when they're the baby or when they're growing up to an infant because that is where adults normally show the most levels of affection. You know, when you're a teenager, your mother come kiss you, your box are up, or mommy, no, you, do, you know, you feel embarrassed. But when you're a baby, mm -hmm, you know, first day of school, mm -hmm, yes, and a mother can even pass on this virus when she is giving birth. All right, guys, so this type, just take away from the stigma. This type is not the sexually transmitted disease, but this is the oral it normally shows an oral presentation with the blister right in the corner of your mouth. Jamaicans call it night fever. Americans call it cold sore. Still boils down to the herpes simplex virus type 1. Alright guys. So what you need to know about this virus. Once you have it, you have it for life. This virus isn't going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. And what happens is after you have the first outbreak, the virus moves from the skin and goes to your nerve cells. You know, like I said, somebody, you just always dip on a nerve. So that means that the press is constantly, constantly bothering you. You know, you're always on my nerve. So you imagine that we do have nerve cells in our body. So the virus, basically the virus always dip on your nerve. <laughs> so the virus moves from the skin and goes into the nerve cells. And the virus stays in the nerve cells forever. Alright? But you won't be experiencing a blister or an outbreak every minute. No. This virus is called, it's very silent. So it will stay in your nerve cell till you don't even remember it. You don't even know if you have it. Because it does not, it, it might not show another presentation other than the initial one you would have gotten when you were a child or growing up. However... However, you can have another outbreak happening. Now, don't get you're not out the woods yet because majority of persons won't experience another outbreak. It just stays in your nerve cell and you don't even know that it's there. However, persons do experience a second outbreak or a third outbreak because the virus can become active again. So there are situations that can result in the virus becoming active. Things that can trigger the virus to becoming active again is number one, stress. Stress can trigger a lot of things, including a second outbreak of the HSV type 1 virus. Another situation is having an illness. So another illness not necessarily relating to HSV, but any other illness, it causes your immune system to be compromised. And that lets you know more vulnerable to all the viruses and diseases that are out there. So that's definitely another situation where you can have a second outbreak of the HSV type 1 virus. Having a surgery being performed can awaken the virus. Or even your menstrual period for my female ladies out there. That can cause you to awaken the virus as you can see this hsv type 1 is totally different from hsv type 2 comment down below and tell me if you knew that there were two types of the herpes simplex virus so guys do not be alarmed as i said it is skin to skin contact skin to skin contact once when i was a child as many persons you know we just call it night fever and you know your rubble could think pan it, your mother rubble could something pan it. Because it's not something where as a child you would know that oh my gosh I have herpes. No. No, it's not. It's just it's as I said, it's just something that is out there, just like ringworm, just like chicken pox, just like pink eye. You know, some people catch it, some people don't. But I am sure after this video everybody's gonna say that them never yet have night fever. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> As my as my friends did too. All of a sudden they have night fever but they do have herpes. But I'm hoping that you guys were educated in this video and that you know you can when you are more aware of something, you can better protect yourself from it. How can you protect yourself and your child from the herpes simplex virus? Well, 
what you can try to do with this coronavirus it gives you the perfect reason to just say no you can't hold the baby because of coronavirus you can't kiss my baby because of coronavirus you have to wear your mask so that kind of gives you a protection against the virus because no everybody's not going around hugging and everybody's maintaining their own social distance and six feet apart you can say yeah you can't come over come look for the baby and you just say right, you stay over there so in the living room and i'll have the baby in the bedroom and you hold up the baby like all them the simba and you show everybody the baby from a distance a simba or simba was i don't remember but i'll insert the picture when they were doing the circle of life i remember that part all right so that's pretty much how you can protect yourself if you do get an outbreak you can just go to the pharmacy there are over the counter medications and creams that you can buy to help to relieve the symptoms faster now remember that you can't get a cure there is no cure the virus will be stored on your nerve cells and basically will be living with you <laughs> if you guys have any more questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i love when you guys engage me in the comments and you know i respond to you guys i really love that back and forth so please feel free it is a safe space if you have a more personal and private question feel free to reach out to me at my email address lovesoutloud at gmail.com and i can respond to you more privately and if you don't want to ask me apps google google you know google can google is the you know questions that person don't want to ask the doctor you just type it in a google nobody don't know fingers crossed your internet provider now look you up and check what are you browsing so guys i really hope this video was a good one i hope you guys were educated i hope you guys know your status i mean there are there are herpes tests out there if you want to do it to find out exactly if your parent don't remember if you have the virus. Because I was like, Mommy, I did have night fever on my cool. Hmm, may I try and remember? You know, may I try and remember? You understand? If you want to know your status, you can go ahead. And always remember, herpes simplex virus. There are two types. One is an STD and the other is not type 1. Which 50 to 80% of the population in the united states and have it and they are living quite fine so don't be alarmed this is just for education so that you know so if the doctor say you have herpes type one like gmail kill my husband because i'm giving me the herpes and i wouldn't get the herpes from you understand it is not an std herpes type one is not an std all right guys thank you all for watching and making it to the end of another video Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let us spread the word out there that if you have night fever, you have herpes. But you have herpes type 1. <laughs> Bye. See you next week with more videos.